we've beaten McEwen, we've uh, beaten Koei, but uh, I don't think we've played a couple of them so far this year. So, yeah. so it'll be a good test. We're, we know we, if we play our best, we can stock up. And there are all going to be challenges, but we believe we can do it. No, one of the, uh, one of the great things about after winning the Olympics was uh, all of a sudden there was calls uh, for us to come and do, you know, speak at uh, schools and really spread the word of curling and, and uh, you know, sport, you know, active living and with, and with the youth. And, and we had, I think we went to about 50 schools each in that, uh, that first summer when we were back after the Olympics. And it was great to just be able to spread the, spread the word of curling. And curling had a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of hype after the Olympics about it. And it was just uh, great to be able to see, uh, you know, the, uh, the interest with the, with the young people. And, and Cranbrook, uh, same thing. We've seen a lot of the junior curlers out holding the signs. And it's great to see that, uh, that young interest. And uh, we try to support that whenever we can. For sure. We were just thinking we have to make sure we come out of the state one and one. And we kind of controlled that game. And let it, let it slide a little at the end there, so it was nice to come up with a win. Yeah, I think it was good for us to uh, get a win and get it on the board. I think there's a lot of teams right now at one and one, so. Um, but we were just really happy to get our first win. I think uh, it's really important for us, and we can just build from that. Um, even the game that we lost, it looked kind of like a blow up, but um, we're still working on things, and we knew what we needed to do in the next game. So I think we really brought that this game, and uh, hopefully we can continue through.